777-300. And what you're looking at here is the hydraulic servicing area. That is the gauge and the filter right below it. And that is the selector knob. Three systems, left, center, and right. We will turn the knob to the respective system to service it and monitor the gauge. That right there is for the hand pump. It's a receptacle. You can utilize this hose and place it inside of a container that has Skydrol, which is the hydraulic fluid. And that's the handle that gets inserted into there and gets pumped. But today, we're not going to be using that. Today, my partner is bringing a Bowser. We're going to be attaching it to that little fitting right there, and he's going to be pumping from downstairs, and I'll be watching the gauge until it's full. Now you ask yourself, why do we need to service hydraulics? Well, hydraulics are responsible for your flight control movements and your landing gear movement, because those components have actuators. Actuators have seals. These aircraft work under high pressure, 3,000 PSI, and go through extreme temperatures from high altitude to low. This causes seals to expand and contract, and sometimes seepage happens. As you can see, the right side has gone low a bit. It's okay, we monitor this all the time. Get an indication in the flight deck. Check this on every flight. You can see, we attach the fitting, and my partner downstairs will begin to pump. As he pumps, I will monitor the gauge and let him know when it's at sufficient levels. Just one small part of what we do. There's a lot more that we inspect. But it, 